Uganda pig farmers are largely smallholders practicing traditional methods of pig farming that mainly involve using unimproved imports for both breeding and pork production, tethering and free range methods. All these lead to both limited supply of pigs and quality pork on the market. On the other hand, there is increasing popularity of pork consumption among Ugandans and neighboring countries, attracting a demand that current supply cannot effectively handle. To start pig farming, initial investment is directed towards the breed, housing and feeds. Before investing, one should take time to plan. Colas Ijiot, an attendant piggery department at National Farmers Leadership Center, says it's very important to dip feet into the food bath before entering the unit to prevent infectious agents gaining access to the farm and second equally important to control those organisms already on the farm and that persist in large numbers in the environment. Sijot, uh, attendant Pigara department at National Farmers Leadership Center. Uh, in this department, this is Pigara unit and uh, before, you, uh, before you get into uh, a Pigare unit like this one, we have a foot bath where you have to dump your foot. Any visitors that come into your area, you first ensure they dump their foot before coming in. This one, that one stops the spread of germs or the pathogens that can cause disease to your, to your, to, to your farm. And um, as you see in this area, this is what we call the conventional unit. In Pigare rearing, we have uh, two different uh, kind of structure. That is the conventional method and this is where we are. This unit, we call it a conventional unit. And then down the other side adjacent, we shall also see the IMO or the local structure. Now in particular with the conventional unit, it is quite costly as you see the materials which is entailed in the construction of this house. Uh, though your speak can still live smartly, but it, it, it has cost implication. Just like you see, everything we use here is actually we have the, uh, the concrete floor, we have the iron sheets, we have the iron bar, which are also quite expensive. But depending on the kind of the farmer you're dealing with or what you intend, you can end up coming up with a conventional unit. However, here also we recommend the what? The, 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 the IMO structure. We call it indigenous microorganism. As we move down there, you will be in portion to see what this structure contains as far as it's concerned. Our farmers may end up saying, but even in the IMO, in the local structure, you have again used the iron sheet. So we replicated the same procedure there. Here we have all the local materials. We are using the, the timber. As you see, you can get this timber locally. We have these reeds, as you see. We have these poles. And on top, we said, no, we cannot even use the iron sheet. You have the grass. So with this method, even farmers here within this region who has a lot of, um, a lot of um, this dry banana leaves, you can use it on top for roofing your, your, your structure and you have your pigs inside. So this is entirely organic materials. Now the reason as to why we have all these three components, these major components here is they help in decomposition. After nine months from here, all these things would have, would have decomposed and we take it to our gardens as manure, as fertilizer. So you use it to fertilize your crop and your crop end up growing, uh, end up doing so well. Now you may find for us here, instead of going to buy manure from town, we use our local uh, manure here from the IMO unit. We use it in horticulture, uh, field, field crop. Establishment of various field crops, we use our what? Our materials here. So this thing decomposes. Now, the rate of, decompos uh, the rate of decomposition is increased by the application of the microbes. Now, this is where uh, the, the, the use of the liquid microbe is very important. Now, here, every day we spray like around 10 to 15 liters of IMO that we saw earlier on. We spray it in this area. When you spray it here, it helps in decomposition of these, these materials. Secondly, it removes any smell or odor in this place. That's why you don't feel any smell of the pigs here. So that's the power of that what? Of that microbe. Now when we apply, we turn. Every time you do, you, you come and apply, you have to turn the thing down. You keep on turning. So that even the downer, the downer materials get decomposed. Another beauty of this unit is you don't need to clean, remove the feces every time. 
these fish stay here for even nine months or ten months. As you apply the microbes, you'll find that uh, it keeps on decomposition. It keeps on decomposing, decomposing every time what you apply the IMO microbe into this unit. So the advantages of using this in regards to the cemented one is here you don't need labor for cleaning, just like you saw I was doing there. You don't need that labor for cleaning. Here you get the, the, the manure direct to your garden because it has decomposed. Your pigs also grow healthy and the growth rate is so fast because this helps to boost the immune system. Here you don't need to treat like you use of uh, use of synthetic drugs because they are organically brought up. So this is all what is important in what in this unit as yeah, far as it's concerned. This one doesn't have a water source. This particular one. Now, water source here we improvise. Oh, okay. <coughs> but we always improvise a water source for them. Uh, depending, but most of the time, one. so this is this, here we improvise water source, and they will always be taking water from there. But the whole beauty of this place is one, you didn't know to clean every time scrubbing, so labor used here is less compared to the labor you need in what in the in the conventional unit, and you can use everything locally. So you may find raising such a this structure is even less than one million. It's actually less than one million if you are in the village. So it is as cheap as possible because these materials are locally available within our means and in our villages. So that is all the beauty about this IMO unit. Thank you. When it comes to housing, pigs need a dry bed and protection from extreme temperature and sunburn. Minimum requirements apply for space, fresh air, hygiene, access to feed and water, and accommodation. These should not predispose the pigs to illness or injury. The housing should take into account good drainage and set aside feeding and watering areas. Methods of housing include structures with a concrete slanting floor on applying indigenous microorganism technology.